Welcome to hour 12.2 in a video series I call Design and Code My Personal Website in 12 Hours. Today we're doing the contact section. This is the last episode in which we'll be doing any coding. And I'm just so excited. Let's just get straight into it. What's up? This is the last little bit and then the whole thing is done. We might do another video or something and do like a recap or whatever, but you know what's up? We are done coding after this next little bit. Um, not completely done forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, but for this series, we can like put it to bed and sleep nice and calm. Okay, um, let's take a look at what we're doing right now. We have in our website a lot of sections, and at the very end, we have this big red block with an email address in it. If people want to contact me, they just email me. And for, you know, I've actually gotten a lot of emails lately from everybody, and it's really hard to answer everyone. So if you do email me, just give me time. I'll try to get back to you. Anyway, but here we are. Uh, the email. I'm calling this the footer. It's, this is like an aggressively big email address at the foot of the, the website. So I'm just calling it a footer. So as in every other episode, I've done a few things to begin. I've created a Jade file and put that in Jade files. And this one is called section-footer.jade, and I included it into index.html. And you can see right here below, we have all those columns and that extra height of 2,000. Let's just get let's get rid of these columns right now, and then we'll get rid of those 2,000 later. And then I've created a home-footer sass and included that into the main SCSS. Okay. So, what are we gonna do? Well, uh, I've, let's see, let's the markup. Let's just start calling it footer. No, let's call it section footer, call it footer. Let's call it, let's call it footer. Footer, you're gonna be in big and red, and inside of you is gonna be an anchor tag. With our ref equals mail to Travis Nielsen dot, <laughs> nope at gmail.com, and that's my email address. And the text is gonna be the same. And that should be all we need for the, the markup for this whole section. Just a little boop, a little email, a little boop, a little, a little boop, a little boop email address. All right, so uh, what was the class? Oh, it's just footer. Mm, no, it's not gonna be footer. It's gonna be class of home footer. It can be a footer, but it's gonna be a home class of home footer. Because I'm not gonna let that footer be across you know every page. Home footer. And what's up with you, home footer? Well, first we need the color, so let's go back to Photoshop. Grab that color. Background that red color. Nice red. And the color is going to be white. And also, the anchor is going to have a color of white. Boom. Hmm. Uh, let's say text. No, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Oof. I want the whole thing to be a button. So I don't want the background. I don't want I don't I don't want that stuff there. I want the You know what I mean? Like I do want that color though. Where's that color? Okay. Let me get rid of this stuff. I'm thinking that I want the button. I want all this red to actually be the button. The big clickable thing is going to be the red. So I'll say background on that thing on that on this anchor, is that? Uh, so that means it needs to be display and block, and its width needs to be 100%, and its uh, height. How should we make this big? Should we make it big with padding, or with height, or with line height? Line height, that'd be good. Line height is going to be like three. 
uh, text align center. Now this is all a button. Look at that big old button. Big old button. Uh, let's get the font size 60. Sixty pixels. Sixty. And is it like weight light font weight three hundred? Oh, I don't think we have the the lightweight from Google. Hmm. I guess you'll just be regular. I guess you'll just be not. Well, I don't. I don't want to import a whole font just for one word. Do I? Nah, I don't. Um, but I want that line height to be like six, yo. Yeah, that's better. And let's say and hover. The background is going to be the similar to this. In fact, we'll take it and we'll say darken. And this is a SAS function here. Darken that to, you know, like like 3%. Darken it that much. Let's see if that's a good idea. It needs more darky. 8%. That's good. But we should have a transition. Uh, 300 milliseconds and uh, ease in, out. Not fast enough. Mm, 150. Okay, we still have all this space at the bottom, and that comes from this right there. So let's get rid of that. And now our design should hug the bottom. Oh my goodness, look at this big, beautiful website. I'm so happy right now. I feel like... Ugh, I feel like months and months of work is coming to an end. Do you guys feel that? I feel it! I feel it! I feel so good! Ugh, fantastic! Uh, thanks for watching. Let's head over to Big Traff. Let him take care of that close. Thank you so much for watching this video series. It's, I, I mean, I can't tell you how excited I am to be done. I started producing this show in January and different things have pushed it back and back. So getting it done, doing this last episode is such a weight off of my shoulders. I feel like I, I can breathe differently and I didn't even know that I was being crushed by this weight. Anyway, I can't even tell you how happy I am. In this next episode, we're going to be reviewing what we've done for the past few months. Okay. And we're going to be talking about next steps to get this project published out to the world. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm so happy and, uh, and keep on hacking.